Hello all and welcome to this AWS tutorial. In our tutorial today, I will demo how to copy an EC2 AMI from one AWS region to another. Steps for our tutorial today. First, we will launch an Amazon Linux EC2 instance with inbound ports 22 and 80 open. After that, we will install, enable, and start HTTPD service on our EC2 instance. Once our HTTPD service is up and running, we will create an index.html page on our EC2 instance. Now this index.html is going to act as our application. So let's say instead of this, if we had additional prerequisites, or if you had an actual application that you wanted to install on EC2, feel free to do that, right? I'm just leveraging this index.html, which is going to kind of be my pseudo application, right? But you can pretty much have anything else. Ensure that whatever application that you have on that box, especially since this is a web server because port 80 is open, is up and running and you're able to browse it, right? Because you don't want any, uh, troubleshooting later on as much as possible. So what we will do is after we create index.html, we will browse our index.html to ensure that it's up and running. Once all of this is complete, then we will create an AMI leveraging this EC2 instance. After our AMI is created, we will copy this AMI to another AWS region. Okay, so what did we do? So let's assume that you have North Virginia over here as your region. You have your EC2 instance, right? From this EC2 instance, you created an AMI. What we do after this is, we will copy this, right? to another region. Now you could choose pretty much any region that you want, but let's say for this demo, I'm going to choose Ohio. So we will copy this AMI over here to our another region, right? And after we have copied this AMI to our, our another AWS region, we will leverage this AMI, that is this AMI, to launch an EC2 instance in that region, okay? And this EC2 instance that we will launch, let's say in this case in Ohio, it should already have index.html on it. Why? Because this AMI, which was originally created in North Virginia, right? already had index.html. Remember, we copied it over to Ohio. Now you could use any region that you want. I'm just going to reuse these two regions for this demo, right? So once our EC2 instance is up and running, we should be able to browse our index.html. Okay, so let's get started. This is my AWS console and we are going to launch an instance over here. So we are going to use Linux 2 AMI. So click on select, P2 micro, in my default VPC, availability zone is going to be US East 1A, public IP is going to be enabled, storage we are going to keep default, tags you can add if you want any, security group. So I have an existing EC2 security group. I'm going to leverage that and that has port 80 and 22 open for me, for HTTP and SSH. Click on review and launch, and finally click on launch. Now this instance is going to be launched in North Virginia, you see the region right here where my mouse is, and leveraging the AWS key pair. So click on acknowledge and launch instances. Right, so our instance is coming up right now. So this is our NAM Linux EC2 in North Virginia. This is my 
EC2 instance and it's coming up right now. This is this public IP address. So we are going to leverage this public IP address to connect to this EC2 instance, leveraging Putty. So Putty is right here. Let's copy this IP address and paste it there. We will increase the font, right? And we will leverage our public private key to connect. So this is our key pair right there. And our instance seems to be running. Let's click on open. So hopefully our instance is up and running. It is. So click on yes, EC2 hyphen user. And we are connected. So we have completed this step. The next thing that we need to do is we need to install, enable and start HTTPD service on our EC2 instance. So I've written this little snippet over here, which I'm going to leverage. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to install HTTPD. So click on, I'll copy this particular command, paste it right there and we will install this, say yes. And the installation continues further ahead. So our HTTP service is now installed. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to enable it. So you enable it, it's enabled. And after that, you start your HTTPD service. So our HTTPD service is now started. So let us now go and check if it is really started or not. So copy this public IP address, open another tab, paste it right there. And if it is really up and running, you should be able to see the test page. So hit enter and it's up and running. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to create index.html. So we are going to copy this path where we are going to create that index.html. Right, so we go back. I'm going to change to root user and I'm gonna change my directory to where www.html. So there it is. It's going to be vi index.html. So this is our index.html file. I'm going to copy this HTML snippet that is going to act as our application in the form of index.html, escape, colon, wq. So it should be saved. Let's see if it's saved. It is saved. Okay. Awesome. So let's see if this index.html is up and running. So slash index.html. And our page is up and running. So this page is going to act as our application. Okay, so if I have to go back, we have completed this step. We have created index.html and we are successfully able to browse it as well. So now it's time to create our AMI. So go back, go to your EC2 instance. So your EC2 instance is selected. Click on actions, go to image, click on create image. So you can give whatever name that you want to give to this image. So let's say if I'm giving Linux EC2 North Virginia AMI, and I'm going to copy this very same thing over here as image description as well. Right. So this image or this AMI is going to be created for us. So click on create image. It will disconnect our putty session and go ahead and create this image for us. Please be patient because creation of image takes a while. Right. It typically takes five to seven minutes. So click on create image. And if you want to see your pending image, just click right here and it will take you right there. What we will do is we will give it a name, right? So we will say, I think this name is good. And let's wait for a little bit. Our putty session has been disconnected. And we will close this. As I said, this takes about five to seven minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording and resume it once it is available. So our AMI is now available. Okay, it's up and running. So let's go back and we have basically completed this step.
So the next step for us is to copy this AMI to another region. Right, so we will go back over here. We will go to actions. Remember our AMI is selected. To actions, go to copy AMI. And now over here, we need to select the destination region. So we will select Ohio. We will give the same name, it is fine. Everything else is okay and click on copy AMI. Now again, copying of AMI to another region is also a time consuming task. Okay, it typically takes about at least five to 10 minutes to finish that. And you can actually click on this particular link. It will take you to that new AMI that has been created or copied over to Ohio, right? So right now I'm in North Virginia over here, if you see. If I click on this, my region will change to Ohio. So click on that. And this is Ohio now, if you see on the top, right? And this is my AMI that is being copied over here. And we will give it a name. So we will say, instead of North Virginia, we are gonna say Ohio. Right, and again, this is going to be copied over here. This is a time consuming task, so it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to resume it once the status is available. Our AMI has now been copied over to Ohio successfully and now it's available. So we have basically completed this step. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to launch an EC2 instance, leveraging this cre newly created or copied over AMI. And remember that when we created this AMI in North Virginia, our EC2 instance already had index.html on it. So once our EC2 instance is launched in the Ohio region, leveraging this AMI, we should be able to directly browse index.html. Okay, so let us go ahead and do that. So if you go to EC2 over here, right? We don't have any instances running. Click on launch instance over here. And then what we will do is we will go to my AMIs. This is our AMI, remember, so select that. We can leverage T2 micro. We are going to launch this in our default VPC in the Ohio region, right? And we are going to launch it in uh, US East to A. We are going to enable public IP. Click on next. Uh, the storage is fine. If you want to add any tags, security group, if you have an existing group is fine. Otherwise ensure that port 80 and 22 are on. So they are open for me right now. Review and launch and click on launch. Now remember that this EC2 instance is being created in Ohio, leveraging our copied AMI and leveraging AWS Ohio Keepin. So click on acknowledge right there and launch instances. So our instance is coming up and this is our let's say Ohio instance, right? So we'll keep it there. It's coming up, it's running. Let's copy its public IP address. And now if I go here, paste this, go to slash index.html, hopefully our instance is up and running. This should show up on its own. So there it is. So what we did was we successfully launched an EC2 instance, leveraging the AMI that we copied over from North Virginia to Ohio with our application already on it. And this is how you can go about doing something similar, right? So this is a very useful technique, guys. Do leverage this. Of course, depending upon your application, you might have to make certain tweaks on your AMI. You might have some configuration changes, etc. but that's okay. Uh, feel free to make those changes, but in general, you can certainly leverage this technique to copy over any EC2 AMIs from one region to another.
So hopefully this was helpful. Do post your comments and I will see you shortly in some other video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.